Now you can derive the relation between linear velocity and angular velocity. The particle travels from A to B along the circular path of length L and radius OA equal to R and OV is equal to R and theta is the angular displacement at the center of the arc O. Even the particle A in the bigger circular arc path is the length of the circular arc and L and the other arc to radius OA to OB equal to R is the center of the circle as arc is the angular displacement and theta and the other we know the definition for angular velocity the rate of change of angular displacement is called angular velocity hanger omega is equal to d theta by dt d theta means change in angular displacement divided by time taken is the dt and we know that equation for angular displacement angle covered by the radius vector in the given interval of time at the center of the circle is called angular displacement a radius vector given interval of time only yes to angle and cover at the center only that is angular displacement theta and the the angular displacement theta because the length of the arc and radius of the arc are in the divide by the theta equal to L by R and length can also be written as yes displacement divided by R that is A in the big L and the other is yes and the other the other that is yes by R so theta equal to s by r cross multiply to s is equal to r into theta and we know the definition of linear velocity the rate of change of linear displacement is called a linear velocity unit to time only s to velocity change agutte s to displacement change agutte adakke now velocity anta karithivi v equal to ds by dt s andre formula gottide r into theta hagare ishtu na pay substitute madidre d by dt into r theta aitu here in R separated by equal to V is equal to R into D theta by DT at V is equal to R into D theta by DT here D theta by DT is nothing but the omega D theta by DT means rate of change of angular displacement is called angular velocity omega here instead of D theta by DT now omega separated by the V is equal to R into omega this is relation between linear velocity and angular velocity Angular velocity and radius in the multiple model is linear velocity. This is the cross product. V is the vector, R vector, omega is the vector quantity. It becomes the cross product. So, this is the cross product. Omega is also equal to V by R. Linear velocity and radius in the divide model is the angular velocity. Now, we can derive the relation between angular acceleration and linear acceleration. We know the definition of linear acceleration A equal to dv by dt means the rate of change of linear velocity is called linear acceleration. Rate of change of linear velocity is called linear acceleration A equal to dv by dt. So we know the relation between linear velocity and angular velocity just it was derived V equal to R into omega the derivative V Hagagi V is equal to R into omega instead of V in subject part TV A equal to D by DT into R omega I R separate part part TV A is equal to R into D omega D, D omega divided by DT D omega by DT is nothing but rate of change of angular velocity d omega by dt means rate of change of angular velocity is called angular acceleration that angular acceleration is denoted by the symbol alpha hagagi d omega by dt is equal to alpha here instead of d omega by dt alpha subtract a is equal to r into alpha this is the relation between linear acceleration and angular acceleration alpha and angular acceleration and radius in the multiple amount linear acceleration barutte lean angular velocity and radius in the multiple amount of linear velocity avrithi barutto hagene r into alpha is equal to a agutte idu saitha cross product agutte vector a is equal to vector r cross vector alpha andre idu saitha vector product agutte athu cross product agutte ivu relation between linear velocity linear velocity and angular velocity the equation aithu okay